de celebración de la clase del 221. Yo soy Michael Mendoza, presidente del Cristo Rey Dallas. Estoy muy contento de estar con, con todos ustedes hoy. Thank you to everyone joining us and those watching from home. I'm very proud of our graduates and all their accomplishments throughout their time at Cristo Rey. I look forward to the commencement ceremony tomorrow. Please remain seated. After Mass this year's salutatorian, Yasmin Soto, will share her speech, followed by our awards ceremony. Bishop Kelly will celebrate Mass shortly. Thank you. Gracias.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, peace be with you. The paz esté con ustedes. Agradezco mucho la oportunidad de celebrar la misa con ustedes en este día de celebración. Es la fiesta de la solemnidad del Sacrado Corazón de Jesús y también la misa para celebrar la graduación de esta clase de Cristo Rey. Bienvenidos a todos ustedes, especialmente sus padres y otros que están aquí, Padre Ignacio y Capellán y otros. I'm very happy to be with you for the celebration of the Holy Mass on this feast, the solemnity of the most sacred heart of Jesus, um, and to celebrate this baccalaureate mass with you in gratitude for all the Lord, the, the, all that the Lord has given you in your years at Cristo Rey, and for the responses that you have made to those gifts. Let us also call to mind our sins and so prepare to celebrate this, these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who glory in the heart of your beloved Son and recall the wonders of his love for us may be made worthy to receive an overflowing measure of grace 
from that fount of heavenly gifts. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah, Hosea. Thus says the Lord, when Israel was a child, I loved him. Out of Egypt, I called him my son. Yet it was I who taught Ephraim to walk, who took them in my arms. I drew them with human cords, with bands of love. I fostered them like one one who raises an infant to his cheeks. Yet though I stoop to my feet, my child, they do not know that I was their healer. My heart is overwhelmed. My pity is stirred. I will not give vent to my blazing anger. I will not destroy Ephraim again. For I am God and not a man, the Holy One present among you. I will not the flames consume you. Palabra de Dios. Te lo vamos, Señor. The responsorial psalm is you will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. God indeed is my savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord and he has been my savior. With joy, you will draw water at the fountain of salvation. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim his name, among the nations make known his deeds, proclaim how exalted is his name. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Sing praise to the Lord for his glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exultation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Lectura de la Carta de San Pablo a los Efesios Hermanos, a mí, el más insignificante de todos los fieles, se me ha dado la gracia de anunciar a los paganos la incalculable riqueza que hay en Cristo y dar a conocer a todos cómo va cumpliéndose este designio de salvación. Oculto desde el principio de los siglos en Dios, creador de todo. Él lo dispuso así para que la multiforme sabiduría de Dios sea dada a conocer ahora por medio de la Iglesia a los espíritus celestiales, según el designio eterno realizado en Cristo Jesús, nuestro Señor, por quien podemos acercarnos libre y confiadamente a Dios por medio de fe, de la fe en Cristo. Me arrodillo ante el Padre, de quien procede toda paternidad en el cielo y en la tierra, para que conforme a los tesoros de su bondad, les conceda que su espíritu los fortalezca interiormente y que Cristo habite por la fe en sus corazones. Así, arraigados y cimentados en el amor, podrán comprender con todo el pueblo de Dios la anchura y la longitud, la altura y la profundidad del amor de Cristo y experimentar ese amor que sobrepasa todo conocimiento humano, para que así Queden ustedes colmados con la plenitud misma de Dios. The word of the Lord.
the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Since it was preparation day, in order that the bodies might not remain on the cross on the Sabbath, for the Sabbath day of the week was solemn one, the Jews asked Pilate that their legs be broken and they be taken down. So the soldiers came and brought the legs of the force and then of the other one who was crucified with Jesus. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. But one soldier thrust his lance into his side and immediately blood and water flowed out. An eyewitness has testified and his testimony is true. He knows that he is speaking the truth so that you also might come to believe. For this happened so that the scripture passage might be fulfilled. Not a bone of it will be broken. And again, another passage says, they will look upon him whom they have pierced. The Gospel of the Lord. celebration of the Holy Eucharist today for your baccalaureate as you prepare to graduate from Cristo Way Dallas tomorrow just happens to be also the feast of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. And so the gospel set before us today is the gospel of the sacrifice of Jesus, his giving everything to the last breath out of love for us, even to the point where even after he's dead and they jab his heart, his side with a lance, blood and water flow out. He continues to give even in death. And those are considered to be symbols of baptism and symbols of the Holy Eucharist, which we celebrate here today as baptized persons. So I'd like to focus your attention just for a few moments on the sacrifices that you have made these last four years, the things that you have had to do that are really hard, that challenged you, to remember the sacrifices that other people have made for you, the sacrifices your parents and your families have made, your teachers, the things that you have had to sacrifice because of COVID, the last year's class sacrificed their graduation ceremony, all the limitations that you've had to live with, there are many sacrifices, right? You may have wondered at times if it was worth it. You may have felt once in a while like giving up, doing something easier, just staying in bed. Crystal Ray is a very difficult, demanding program of study and work. Having to get up early, travel long distances, learn new skills, learn new ways of seeing yourself, new ways of acting in relationship with other people. One thing that always sticks in my mind from one of the very first times I visited Crystal Ray campus for the celebration of mass maybe three, four, five years ago, I don't remember. But all the students that came up to me and shook my hand and looked me in the eye and said, good morning, Bishop Kelly, welcome to Crystal Ray Dallas, we're glad you're here. Well, I was glad I was there too, but I was taken aback because the thing that struck me was the attitude of the students, their confidence, their sense of we belong here, this is our place, we welcome you. This is what we do. You had to learn that, and you had to practice it. I didn't learn that until I was 25. And you had to learn and practice many other skills, develop abilities and talents that you didn't even know you had or were afraid to use. Y por todo esto, por todos sus sacrificios, este día 
y mañana son días de celebración, un tiempo de mucho gozo por sus sacrificios y los de los demás. Ustedes han hecho muchos sacrificios, sus padres han hecho muchos para ustedes, sus maestros y otros han hecho muchos sacrificios. Y por todo esto es un día de celebración, un día de gozo profundo y en pleno. Un día, especialmente en esta celebración de la Santa Misa, un día para agradecer a Dios, agradecer a sus padres y maestros por los sacrificios de ellos para con ustedes y para expresar gratitud por la, las oportunidades que Dios les ha dado en Cristo Rey Dallas, por los sacrificios que ustedes han hecho para llegar a ser las personas que Dios les ha llamado a ser. Y este gozo es el fruto de sus esfuerzos, de sus sufrimientos, de sus sacrificios, día tras día, semana tras semana, mes tras mes, año tras año. Todo esto ha formado en sus corazones, sus mentes, sus almas, sus actitudes, su ser, y los ha preparado bien para los próximos pasos por delante, con nuevos desafíos y sacrificios y nuevos gozos. All that you've done, all that you've sacrificed, all that other people have sacrificed for you, the fruit of that is joy. The fruit of that is the accomplishments that you've been able to make thanks to what God has given you and how you have responded to those gifts day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year. And so we celebrate the Mass on this solemnity of the most sacred heart of Jesus. And the image of the sacred heart, you've seen that image of a, of a cross with a crown of thorns on it, bleeding, is an image of suffering love, love that suffers for the sake of other people. It reminds us that everything Jesus did, everything he said, everything he suffered, was and is an expression of his love, a love that sacrifices, a love that would do anything for us, has done everything for us. This love pours out of his heart, even in death, when a lance pierces his heart as he hangs upon the cross. His sacrifice gives life to others, and your sacrifices that you have made are a participation in that kind of love makes new life possible through, for you and through you for others. Y los sacrificios de los demás por ustedes son fuentes de vida, señales de amor para ustedes. Este amor les ha dado a ustedes todo, sus vidas, sus familias, sus habilidades, la fuerza, la capacidad de permanecer frente de muchos desafíos, obstáculos, la oportunidad de ser un estudiante en Cristo Rey, esta escuela nombrada por él. Cristo Rey, nuestro Rey, el Rey victorioso por su muerte en la cruz y por su resurrección tres días después. Sus propios sacrificios y los de sus padres y maestros y otros son participaciones en el sacrificio de Cristo, señales e instrumentos de este amor. El gozo que tienen en este momento es una participación en el gozo en la nueva vida que ha venido por la resurrección, que ha venido después de sus sacrificios. Y todo esto va a prepararlos para una nueva obra, nuevos estudios, nuevos sacrificios, una vida, más siempre, un, una vida siempre más grande, corazones más abiertos a recibir los dones ricos de Dios, la incalculable riqueza de, de, que hay en Cristo, en las palabras de San Pablo a los Efesios y también compartirlos con los demás, con todos que vengan a Cristo Rey después de ustedes, para dar como don lo que ustedes han recibido como don. Today we celebrate with deep gratitude to God, to deep gratitude to all who have given you rich gifts over these years, for the sacrifices that have made these, your accomplishments possible, the sacrifices that you have made and that others have made for you to bring you to this day of joy. And so we stand in this holy cathedral, a little warm, but still, what the heck, to give thanks to God and to say again to him, what we always say when we say thanks, we also say yes. Yes, let it be done to me according to your will. Yes, let me continue to grow as your disciple in this world all the days of my life. Aquí estoy, 
para hacer tu voluntad. Let us now turn to God our Father with our prayers of petition, confident that he will always give us what is best for us. Our Holy Father, Pope Francis, Bishop Burns, and Bishop Kelly, and all clergy who lead our church, may they be a witness of authentic faith to all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Para los líderes del mundo y de nuestra comunidad local, que trabajen juntos para, para promover el bien de todos, oremos al Señor. For the sick and all those who suffer, especially those that have been affected by COVID-19, that they might be consoled by the love of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Por los graduados, que aprovechen la educación que han recibido y que sepan que siempre tienen un hogar con nosotros. Oremos. Señor, escucha nuestra acción. For the safety of the men and women in the military, all who defend this country here and overseas, and for the comfort of their families, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. En acción de gracias por aquellos que han ayudado a nuestros graduados a lograr todo lo que han logrado por todos los padres, familiares, maestros, personal, socios corporativos, supervisores y miembros de la comunidad. Oremos. Por the Cristo Rey Dallas family, students, faculty, staff, friends of the community, job partners, board members and benefactors that we work together to build the kingdom of God on earth, and that we protect each other's dreams through the trust and love. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Para todos aquellos que ya descansan en la paz de Dios, en especial los miembros de nuestra familia, Cristo Rey Dallas y Savannah Ayala, y para sus familias, oremos. We pray for all intentions that we hold in our hearts, and especially for the Ajala family. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, hear the prayers of your people gathered around this altar on this happy occasion. As we offer you thanks to the many gifts that you have given us and given to these students, we also cry out for new gifts, for we need your love and your mercy always. As we celebrate this Holy Eucharist, form in us the hearts of your Son, that we may love as he loved with the strength that he gives us, and use his gifts well through Christ our Lord.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Look, O oh Lord, we pray on the surpassing charity in the heart of your beloved Son, that what we offer may be a gift acceptable to you and an expiation of our offenses through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For raised up high on the cross, he gave himself up for us with a wonderful love and poured out blood and water from his pierced side, the wellspring of the church's sacraments, so that one over to the open heart of the Savior, all might draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you, and without end we acclaim. <laughs> Santo, 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 Señor, Dios del Universo, llena el cielo y en la tierra de tu gloria, oh Santo. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Anunciamos tu muerte eterna. Proclamamos tu resurrección. El Señor Jesús. El Señor Jesús. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Edward, our Bishop, with me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
Through him and with him and in him. O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Fiel a la recomendación del Salvador y siguiendo su divina enseñanza, nosotros vemos a decir, Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo, santificado sea tu nombre, venga a nosotros tu reino, hágase tu voluntad en la tierra como en el cielo, danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día, perdona nuestras ofensas como también nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden, no nos dejes caer en tentación y líbranos del mal. Líbranos de todos los males, Señor, y concédenos la paz en nuestros días, para que, ayudados por tu misericordia, vivamos siempre libres de pecado y protegidos de toda perturbación, mientras esperamos la gloriosa venida de nuestro Salvador Jesucristo. Señor Jesucristo, que dijiste a tus apóstoles, la paz les dejo, mi paz les doy. No tengas en cuenta nuestros pecados, sino la fe de tu iglesia. Y conforme a tu palabra, concédele la paz y la unidad, tú que vives y reinas por los siglos de los siglos. Este es el Cordero de Dios que quita el pecado del mundo. Dichosos los invitados a la cena del Señor. Señor, no soy de Dios en mi casa, pero una palabra tuya bastará para sanarme.
Oremos. Señor y Padre nuestro, que este sacramento de amor nos haga arder en santo afecto, de modo que, atraídos siempre hacia tu Hijo, sepamos reconocerlo en nuestros hermanos, el que vive y reina por los siglos de los siglos. Amén. Before the conclusion of Mass, I just want to congratulate you on your upcoming graduation tomorrow. And I look forward to being with you for the celebration tomorrow afternoon at the Meyerson. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God.
Please be seated. Good afternoon. My name is Megan Fliss, Interim Assistant Principal and Director of Academics. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 reads, And let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith. This verse captures the spirit of our next speaker and salutatorian. Yasmin Soto has run with perseverance through her four years of high school. Figuratively, she has run through her academics. She has taken the most rigorous course load available to students at Cristo Rey Dallas and has excelled. She will graduate with nine advanced placement courses, the most possible for the class of 2021, and was recognized last year as an AP scholar with distinction. Her AP Calculus teacher said of Yasmin, Yasmin Soto is one of the hardest working, most driven, most talented, most dedicated, and most focused. In short, one of the best students that I have ever had the privilege of teaching. Yasmin has run through her corporate work study experience. She is an independent worker, focused, and hardworking. The corporate work study team describes her as having a strong work ethic and ability to monitor her own progress and performance. Yasmin has literally run miles as part of her Cristo Rey Dallas experience. As a member of the cross country and track teams, running has become part of Yasmin's life. This year, when Yasmin did not physically run in races or at practice, she still supported the team driving other students to the track and showing up at meets to cheer on her teammates. Most importantly, Yasmin has run, as the Hebrew verse states, fixing her eyes on Jesus. While excelling in academics, corporate work study, and extracurricular activities, Yasmin is always mindful of bringing others along with her. To use the words of Dr. Catterley again, Yasmin is always willing to help her classmates by explaining the material to them with great insight, clarity, and patience. She constantly helped her classmates, cheerfully answering their questions and encouraging them when they struggled. Next year, Yasmin will continue running her race at Southwestern University in Georgetown, Texas. Her current designated major is computer science. She was the recipient of the Deloitte Scholarship. Let us welcome to the front our Class of 2021 salutatorian, Yasmin Soto. Hello, everyone. My name is Yasmin, as Ms. Swiss mentioned, and it's in its an outstanding honor to be speaking to you all today as a class of 2021 salutatorian. After four long and challenging years, we're finally here to celebrate the hard work we've put in. I'd like to start off by showing my appreciation. First and foremost, thank you to my family who has allowed me to have the chance to go to CRD and getting to be a part of the CRD family. Thank you to the class of 2021 parents who allowed or even forced their children to come to CRD. Without them, we would not be the CRD family that we are. I want to thank the teachers and staff who were there by our side and provided us with support. Thank you, Dr. Catterley, for spending three stressful years with me along with nine of my peers. Your class was always my favorite to go to, even if it meant me crying over calculus at least once a week. Thank you to Ms. Laser, who always brought snacks to class in such an energetic mood, even when she wasn't feeling up to it. It never went unnoticed. And thank you to Mr. Eidecker, who would give us a fist bump during passing periods and would always ask us how our day was doing. And Mr. Woodward, who is one of the loudest yet most passionate teachers that we could have ever had or asked for. Thank you to all the other CRD family members who I might have not interacted with, but had been the support or shoulder to cry on that one of us needed. Lastly, thank you, Class of 2021. 
Thank you for all the inside jokes we made together, all of the memories that we made, and for creating an environment where it was safe to be ourselves. CRD gave us a different high school experience that not many students can relate to. So thank you for being that environment that we could always relate to one another. Thank you for sticking around for the past four years and going through this journey together. This is it, everyone. We've made it. Four years of CRD are now coming to an end. No more forgetting about the Khan Academy or Alex assignments. No more Ms. Aguirre going through lunch asking the guys to shave. And no more worrying about late time cards from CWSP. Four years ago, we all cheered down the hallway after we found out what job partner we were going to be working at. And now we're here. We've done all that we've been taught since Viva to protect the dream. This may be cheesy, but this is, the only be this is only the beginning of the next chapter in our lives. Based on how we've done the past four years, it's clear that we'll dominate the future. After all, we've already made many sacrifices, especially this year, with no hesitation. So there's no point in letting that all go to waste. Class of 21, 2021, let's set the world on fire. Thank you. Thank you, Yasmin. You will indeed set the world on fire. Now for the presentation of the Athletic and Academic Excellence Awards, let's welcome Mr. Eidecker. Good afternoon. My name is J.P. Eidecker. I'm the Director of Campus Ministry and Student Life and the Varsity Volleyball Go Girls Coach here at Cristo Rey. The female award for athletic excellence goes to an athlete who competed in soccer, basketball, and volleyball during her time at Cristo Rey Dallas. This athlete is a perfect example of the quote, you're either a leader everywhere or nowhere. From staying late after tryouts to give pointers to nervous freshmen, to her tireless work ethic and relentless hustle, to her presence on campus as an upperclassman mentor, this student is a leader everywhere. She is the epitome of a team player, someone who builds others up and pushes herself to be better every single day, inspiring others in that process to try harder, take risks, and be great. While her various teams and coaches will miss her presence next year, her legacy and her school-wide wall sit record will last long after she graduates. The award for excellence in athletics award, excuse me, the award for excellence in athletics is Raquel Rocky Luciano. Hello, my name is Tim Woodward, and I'm the AP US history teacher and track and cross country coach at Cristo Rey Dallas. The male award for athletic excellence goes to an, an incredibly talented athlete, scholar, and young man. As a leader on the cross country team, the soccer team, and the track team, he builds community around him, focuses on the team's goals, and sets an incredible example of hard work, determination, and how to push others to be their best. He qualified for the state track meet his sophomore and senior year in multiple events. He broke the 5K school record for cross country several times during the 2020 COVID season and finished in the top 10 at state and even earned a starting position on the soccer team due to his focused work ethic during quarantine and during the snowstorm. 
He exemplifies what it means to be a student athlete and a leader at our school. The winner of the Excellence in Athletics Award is Eric Gonzalez. The, out student, the outstanding student in social studies was chosen for impressive work inside and outside of the classroom. In school, she excelled to the top of her advanced placement courses and passed the final exams <clears throat> with her strong discussion and writing skills. Outside of the classroom, she was even more impressive. She put her knowledge and community activism into action. She worked voter registration for the 2020 election advocated for environmental policy reform with congressional representatives through Mi Familia Vota, created the Social Justice Club with a focus on policy and community involvement, and even plans to run for office in the future. The winner of the Academic Excellence in Social Studies Award is Kim Gattaca. I am Jordan Catterley, a mathematics teacher for Cristo Rey Dallas, and I'm going to present the Academic Excellence in Mathematics Award. As a result of her impressive mathematical talent, her remarkable work, work ethic, and her incredible attention to detail, the outstanding student in mathematics has consistently been the top performing student in CRD's most advanced math courses, including both AP Calculus and AP Statistics. She challenges herself by studying mathematics beyond the assigned curriculum. Most importantly, she is always willing to help her classmates by explaining any concept to them clearly and accurately. The math department is very proud of Yasmin Soto. Hi, I'm Dr. Fraile. Um, I'm the music teacher at Cristo Rey Dallas. Uh, first and foremost, from all the fine arts teachers, we all believe this person is one of the most wonderful, kind, and caring people that we've ever come across. She's one of the few students that we all had the pleasure to work with before she took our classes. This person has shown commitment to the fine arts from the very first day she stepped into the school. I remember the first time I met her. She came to my class for the first choir rehearsal of the year and that same day proceeded to ask me if I could help her to put together a song for an audition. The very next day she was already emailed me multiple times to set up rehearsals. As a freshman that takes courage and drive to put yourself out there when you are in a new school. She worked backstage at, uh, of CRD's first ever production, Alicia in Wonder Tierra. She was responsible, reliable, and a huge part of the success on that production. As a sophomore, she showed us dependability and commitment as she memorized, rehearsed, and performed the play Graceline. In music class, she was a strong performer. She was always had time to help her struggling peers, and she did a marvelous job on the concert playing the melody of Michael Jackson's Billie Jean. In choir, she continued to counter the masses and help in CRD events, singing carols in the Christmas luncheon, or showing off her beautiful voice during the fine arts showcase, among other events. As a junior, she was an excellent student and made an impact on her theater class by her optimistic and supportive attitude, whether on stage or as an audience member. She also brought great detail and vulnerability to her character in 100 Lies. Um, as a senior, she made a very mature choice to focus on the school during a school year that left many stretched thin. So while we miss working with her this year, it, always, it was always a pleasure uh, to see her involved in the school announcements and growing as a leader in the CRD community. 
She has many great things ahead of her. We are proud to present the Fine Arts Excellence Award to Marta Tinarejo. Hello, I'm Dr. Scott Garbaz, the physics teacher at Creeper Cristo Ray Dallas. Science is about more than just numbers and facts. A scientist is one who has disciplined curiosity towards the world and who works with others to discover new facts. The student, this student has demonstrated diligent, independent curiosity all four years at Cristo Ray, whether researching concepts on his own, engaging in class discussions, or ensuring that every detail is perfect on a class project. Furthermore, he has set himself apart by the patience and clarity with which he taught his classmates. In short, he is a spectacular embodiment of the practice of scientists, sciences, both on his own and with others. On behalf of the science department, I would like to offer the Academic Excellence in Science Award to Eduardo Dominguez. Dominguez. Hello, I'm Rebecca Sawatsky, the American literature teacher for Krista Ray Dallas. The student who best represents excellence in literature is a determined, hardworking, critical thinker. When analyzing literature, she has the unique ability to not just read into the deeper meaning of a novel, but keep the messages of literature alive by consistently applying her understanding to the modern day. As a classmate, she genuinely wants her fellows to succeed. She's generous with her understanding, selfless when it comes to helping others, and a leader in class discussion. Outside of class, she remains a voracious reader with a thirst for knowledge. This year, even though she was already in multiple classes based in literature, she still consistently asked her teachers to borrow books or give her recommendations, even asking me for a recommendation in the middle of her finals week. As a result of her natural talent, generous spirit, and curious mind, the winner of the Academic Excellence in Literature Award is Sarah Lira. Hello, um, my name is Allison Tremblay, interim co-principal and director of instruction for Krista Ray Dallas. And this semester I got to teach um, a senior literature class. Um, the Excellence in Writing Award goes to a student who has consistently stood out to her teachers each year for her determination, hard work ethic, and her beautiful way with words. Some of her writing teachers have referred to her work as exceptional and always A plus quality. This year, she spent most of the year virtual, yet was still a model student. She found meaningful ways to participate in class, and every written assignment was finished with great attention to detail, checking off all parts of the grading rubrics, and more importantly, sharing thoughtful analysis and insight in a writing voice mature beyond her years. We are all so proud of her great work at Krista Ray Dallas, and are excited to hear about her future successes in writing and beyond. The Excellence in Writing Award goes to Yudira Kampion.
Hello, I'm Joseph Rodriguez, theology teacher at Cristo Rey Dallas. I will be presenting the award to the student who has excelled in theology throughout their four years at CRD. The student receiving this award has been someone who we think of as thoughtful, intentional, reflective, and as someone who gives witness to her faith by the way she takes care of others. She has dedicated herself to her theological studies over the past four years and has always looked for ways to apply concepts in her classes to her own life. In her lower level classes, she went way out of her comfort zone to be the lead actress in a short film they created about a saint. In her upper, le upper level classes, she has truly pushed herself to think about the needs of others, especially the most vulnerable, and has pursued academic research and writing to better understand domestic abuse, the ethics of genetic testing, and the deaf and hard of hearing community. She sees her work as deeply tied to her life, using the pursuit of her studies to prepare her to live out a Christian life. Throughout these four years, we have been proud to see how she has, how she has truly grown to be a gift to her classmates and teachers. Fun fact, she's the only niece I have at Cristo Rey. So, in case you're still not sure who it is, the award for excellence in theology goes to Madeline Rodriguez. Hello, my name is Miranda Russell, and I am a language teacher here. Um, I will be giving the Academic Excellence in Language Award. The Academic Excellence in Language Award is given to a senior with outstanding performance in their language of choice. At Cristo Rey, that language is either Spanish, French, Italian, or Portuguese. To be eligible for the award, the student must embody the pillars of language learning, acquiring diverse perspectives, making connections with other cultures and communities, and continuing to improve and expand their own communication skills. This year's award recipient has challenged herself to learn and explore every topic, and always went beyond the class requirements. Because of her hard work and diligence, she has literally taught herself French, and much more French than I know. She is always curious, engaged, in observance of the linguistics and details. She did every single practice, checked her work, and then completed additional questions to clarify her own understanding. Her knowledge and accuracy in French make her a valued classmate. If I were having to read short stories, I'd wish I were her partner as well. In fact, I think she even helped me with some new words. In addition, she has a, she has a mature approach to studying language, one that seeks to understand other people, cultures, and different ways of life. When asked about what, where she would like to travel, she answered, I hope to travel to Paris someday because it's the most beautiful city filled with lights, love, new foods for me to try, and new people for me to meet. Because <laughs> I hope she gets to do exactly that someday. Because of her growth mindset and openness, openness to learning beyond the language, the 2021 Award for Excellence in Language goes to Reagan Walker. If you would, let's applaud the award winners once more, please. Good afternoon. Congratulations. I'm Monica de la Cerda, interim co-principal and director of college guidance. Jeremiah 1.5 says, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. What this tells me is that God knew each and every one of you before you were born. He had a purpose and a mission in mind for you, and God does not make mistakes. He created you exactly as he intended. My hope is that Christopher Ray Dallas has helped you on your purpose and your path and supported your growth in confidently taking up that path. In my regular prayer chats with La Virgencita, 
I will ask her to keep you on your path so that you will be happy and fulfilled. Put your trust in God's love and in your ability to accomplish your goals, and remember that Krista Ray Dallas will always be your home where you can seek guidance, support, and love. Go forth and set the world on fire. Buenas tardes, soy Mónica de la Cerda, directora interina de Cristo Rey y directora de orientación universitaria. Jeremías 1.5 dice, antes que te formé en el vientre te conocí, antes de que nacieras te aparté, te nombré profeta de, los, de las naciones. Lo que esto me dice es que Dios conocía a cada uno de ustedes antes de que nacieran. Él tenía un propósito y una misión en mente para ustedes. Y Dios no comete errores. Él te creó exactamente como Él pretendía. Mi esperanza es que Cristo Rey Dallas les haya ayudado a identificar su propósito y su camino. Y que haya apoyado su crecimiento al tomar ese camino con confianza. En mis charlas de oración con la Virgencita, le pediré que, les mantenga, que los mantenga en tu camino para que seas feliz y realizado. Confía en el amor de Dios y en tu capacidad para lograr tus metas. Y recuerda que Cristo Rey Dallas siempre será tu casa, donde podrás buscar consejos, apoyo y amor. Ve y prende al mundo con tu fuego. Felicidades, nos vemos mañana en la celebración. Buenas tardes.